What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today I'm fishing the river here trying to target some smallmouth. So uh, I'm gonna be trying to see where exactly they're at here on this river, if they're deep or if they're shallow, because it's kind of warm today. It's like in the 80s, so they might be up shallow or they might be more deep, depending on uh, what exactly they're doing. And I might also be able to catch me some large mal, carp, or catfish, so who knows. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, follow me on Instagram. I got a link down below and also, uh, Check out the YouTube page if you want to see some more content like this. I also uh, do John Boat builds, tackle unboxings, and I'm about to start some fly fishing. So, yeah, check that out, and I'll see you here in a second. All right, so we're going to try this. Right here, this little pink Ned rig. I was it a little bit yesterday. Didn't really have too, too much luck on it. But I want to try it here. So, see what we can get. Hopefully we can get something cool. I don't have many of these, so can't throw this color for very long. So I don't know how well exactly this uh, pink worm is going to work. So we're gonna have to kind of just see. Cause I've caught some on some cre crazy colors caught on a pink but not like a bright hot pink like this so I'm kind of curious it's gonna happen a lot of people use like this color for trout fishing so it might be pretty decent for bass so we should probably target deeper water so there's this cart right in front of me. So if we target deeper water, the smallmouth should be hanging out there. I mean, they might be pretty shallow once the, once the day goes on. Also, I have my waders on. Oh, that was a strike. Oh, got one. It's not the biggest one, but we'll take it. Well guys, that was pretty quick. Got this nice little small mouth here. As you guys can see, especially on his cheeks there. That is super pretty. I love that nice little bronze color they got. So yeah, we're gonna keep fishing them. I got this one kind of deep near some rocks, kind of like I expected on that uh, pink Ned rig. Actually on this rig, Right here, sorry, it's still attached to my fishing line. It's on the Ned rig, an STRD. I haven't caught any on that color. This is my first, so yeah, honestly, I'm gonna keep fishing this pink colored, see exactly what can happen. And we're gonna get this little guy back in the water so he can get a little bit bigger. And hopefully we can find uh, his mama here, because I really want a big one. I want like a fat Sally here, guys. So, see you guys here in a second. Well guys, come on this little pink Ned rig. Gonna keep throwing it a little bit. It's like right around the spot where I caught that one. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep fishing it. Probably work our way over to the shade here a little bit after I fish this. Over on that bank, try seeing what we can pull up there. Maybe we can get some more smallmouth. It'd be nice if we could get a bigger one. All right, so by targeting deeper water like this, we're able to look for uh, some of the bigger fish that are hanging out. very unusual hot day here right after they start spawning so I don't know exactly where they're at all right guys so we switched it up to the green pumpkin goby here I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shot this color's quickly become my favorite honestly I really do like this color this color's like one of my favorite it's just it's such a natural color bait See, I don't think those are largemouth that are jumping. I don't know if you guys saw that. I also forgot to loosen my drag. I think those are carp. Honestly, it could be, 
could be a large mouth. I got bit a few times over there. I don't really have any jigs to throw today. But I have a few that I might try here once it uh, cools down a little bit. Well guys, you can definitely tell that summer's almost here. Because everything's, uh, has some leaves on it. Uh, everything's coming alive. The allergies are back. <coughs> For people who have allergies, you know how annoying this time of year is. Especially like down south. <laughs> With all the pollen. Alright guys, so I got this little jig tied on. Uh, this is the Alabama Craw Bendito Bug. With a half an ounce uh, bluegill gridiron uh, gigan squad jig. So I'm just trying this out. I have a good feeling like a lot of the bigger bass are going to be up in uh, this calm water over here, this shaded water. So if we throw a jig here enough times, I should be able to get a really good one. That's like bite size too. Oh yeah, that actually looks good. Just kind of let that sit right down in there. Let's see just exactly what happens if we fill a bump. Oh, there was one. Does it have it? Oh no. I think I came off of it. Oh, I thought that was a fish. Pretty sure it was. Alright, so we're going to try this jig over here. And see what exactly can happen. It'd be nice if there's like a big large mouth like right about there. Thing. We missed a bite on the jig. That's unfortunate. It's hard doing a jig bite. Yep, something bit him clean off. Something was playing with it there for a second. Yep. Crap. I think I missed it. If he took my other leg, I think he did. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I'm on to something, guys. Dang, he took my leg. Oh, took both of them, guys. Look, they cleaned both of these legs off. So we're gonna keep trying that. That's working. fish this hole yet either so that's something I've been looking forward to this whole day especially right about now after the fish have became just a teeny bit more active than they were earlier I'm just trying to work my way along this bank to this uh, this rocks there's like a bridge type thing over here it's kind of like a ledge here there's normally a few Small mouth over there.
Oh, save top of my pole there. Don't know if you guys saw that or what. I gotta save my pole. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Oh, that was something. Whew. I almost lost part of my rod there. Wouldn't have been the best. Well guys, I've, I've broken off. I almost lost my rod. I have the fish tormenting me. Um, yeah, there's like literally fish jumping all around me and I cannot catch one to save my life. Now, to be fair, are they all bass? Not really too sure. But I'd love to catch something. Because I'm pretty much at the end of my line. <laughs> so I can't get snagged too many more times. Ooh! There we go. There we go. That's what I've been wanting. Come here, little buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Whoo. There we go. Oh. Whoo. Whoo. Awesome. <laughs> well, guys, got this nice, pretty little smallmouth. Let's look at the colors on him. Nice, nice little pretty one. A lot bigger than the one I caught earlier. He's still about a pound. Um, we're not wanting to keep him out of the water too long. He bit the Canada Crawl. It was uh, made by Z-Man Finesse TRD. And it's about a two and three quarter inch bait. And he just absolutely inhaled that. So I'm gonna get him back in the water. I was fishing it over there on those rocks. I was actually making a comment about how I can't catch any fish caught this little guy so I'm gonna get a nice little picture of him and we're gonna release him make sure he gets back in the water he can grow up here and become a bigger smallmouth here in the future all right guys so that one that we just caught we caught it on the can to crawl here and uh, this is one of my favorite colors especially for the water side fish my local waters here because normally like the water's pretty clear and I like to use more natural style baits well this color right here just absolutely kills it I don't know what it is about it like it's just, it's just a weird funky color, but it works. I mean, it's like a green and then it kind of has like some, uh, I don't know, like red and yellow flakes and black flakes. And it's kind of like a green pumpkin, a little mix of that. Has a little bit of a lighter belly and it just absolutely kills them here. So I fish this in a lot of different waters and this has been like pretty much my go-to one recently. Now that the waters are more like clear so I think once the waters can start getting more stained, I'll go probably to more darker colors. But at least for now, I'm going to be using probably more natural ones till the rivers start getting muddy. But yeah, I got a few more natural ones I want to try to see uh, if any of them will work. I'm happy I caught that one there with uh, the little amount of line that I did have. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can catch us one more. If not, I'll see you here at the outro. So. See you in a second. Well guys, we just caught that one here. They've been jumping pretty shallow, so I'm just gonna try fishing in a few places. I can't really go too, too far. So I really don't have too much line on my reel. Oh, my reel's covered in sand. That's nice. It has been an eventful day. I've fallen in the water. Uh, the fish have been teasing me. Lost a lot of lures, apparently a lot of line too. Um, I've had quite a few bites and teased by a lot of fish, especially a lot of carp. But I'm happy. I feel that I caught that decent one. It wasn't a monster fish, but it was still nice, especially after the day I had. Almost losing my rod in the river, or half of my rod. That would have been, 
have been pretty bad. Oh, look at that. There's just another one. Oh boy. Well guys, just caught this little small guy right here. Uh, I caught him on the can to craw. It's literally like my first cast back in after catching that second one. It's really, really pretty. Definitely probably uh, one of the prettier fish today. I like that big one that I caught, of course. But yeah, nice little surprise right here. Especially for my third fish. Hopefully I can catch like a few more before I'm about to leave because I was literally about to leave in like about 10 minutes or so, so nice little guy. Got him on the can to crawl. Gonna try to see if we can uh, catch some more here before we leave and uh, hopefully uh, we can get some that are rowing pretty shallow because this guy was super, super shallow. We're gonna get this little guy back in there and we'll see you here in a second. Well guys, uh, had a pretty good day. Caught three fish overall, can't be upset about that, honestly. It was, it was pretty slow until the last uh, say about 10 20 minutes I was fishing so honestly I didn't think I was going to uh, catch too many today I thought I was only gonna catch that one that I caught at the very very beginning of me coming down here but I'm happy like I was able to catch all those especially that nice one I was looking for like a decently sized one for the day and I, I can deal with that that's a pretty decent one and yeah I caught them on pretty much uh, two colors I caught on the canda craw uh, the fur or the first one was the the bubble gum, and then the the second and third were the candy crawl because I started using more natural colors. I wanted to catch one on the the bubble gum color, the pink worm, and I'm so happy to finally have. And I'm gonna start using it more. I'm gonna learn more situations where I can throw it. Just get better with uh, a specific color, especially around here in my uh, local waters here. But yeah, I'm just gonna be experimenting with. Uh, different types of lures presentations I, I got a few ideas in mind uh you'll be seeing that in future videos uh some things i'm gonna be trying and yeah i'm just gonna be trying to get some larger smallmouth and uh try to get my pb broken this year for my smallmouth and my pb for like a smallmouth is uh three pounds and uh six ounces it's in uh it's one of the first videos uploaded to the channel if you haven't already Follow me on Instagram, I have it linked down below, and also subscribe to the channel so you can check out more content like this, and uh, you can see some pretty cool stuff that I have on the channel. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, see you later. Have a good one.